Salmon are famous for their epic ocean migration and we are continuing to piece together this extraordinary journey. Through previous international work, we now know that young salmon leave their home rivers in Scotland and head north to their summer feeding grounds off the west coast of Norway using the strong currents along the continental shelf of Great Britain and Ireland as a smolt highway. We know little about how they reach this smolt highway and the West Coast Tracking Project aims to help fill in these gaps by understanding how young wild salmon move out from their home rivers and navigate our coastal waters. By understanding this, we can better protect our wild salmon. Over a thousand young salmon smolts from 10 rivers across the West Coast were tagged with acoustic tags that emit a uniquely recognised ping, which allows them to be detected by underwater listening stations. Covering the entire stretch of the west coast of Scotland, we deployed over 200 underwater listening stations to listen for the tagged salmon smolts. These listening stations covered waters between Skye and Uist, the gaps between Outer Hebridean Islands and further north off the coast of West Sutherland. This ambitious work is also taking place alongside other major tracking projects, allowing collaboration and sharing of resources for the benefit of wild fish populations. The preliminary results from the first year of this three-year study are starting to shed light on how young salmon are moving through our coastal waters. By looking at the movements of individual salmon smolts, we can learn how long they are within the sea lochs, their speed of travel, and the routes they take on their journey to the open ocean. By tagging over a thousand wild salmon smolts, we were also able to identify patterns in their migratory behaviour. This can be as simple as seeing which way they go around an island, how they move through sounds, or whether they favour certain routes. The early findings from year one of this study indicates that our tag smolts disperse quite widely to get them to where they need to be. North, west, and, in one smolt's case, even south. These initial results are starting to provide profound insights into how we may better care for and protect our precious wild salmon. We still have a way to go to fully understand how wild salmon are using their environment. We will delve deeper into the information obtained in 2021 whilst focusing our efforts in 2022 to examine the speed and timings of their migration routes across sea lochs and the routes across coastal zones with marine developments such as aquaculture and offshore renewables. It is only by improving our knowledge that we can better protect this remarkable species, ensuring that they not only survive, but thrive in our rivers and seas for generations to come.